a museum is an important building in the city. Louvre actually is probably, I think, the number one monument of France. I think it's more important than the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and so if you touch it, all you have to do is do something to it. Somebody's going to tell you, you're wrong. Don't touch it. That's, that's normal. If I were French, I would feel the same way. When I first showed the idea to the public, I would say 90% were against it. I'm not exaggerating. No, I would say the first year and a half was really hell. Uh, I really couldn't walk the streets of Paris without people walking and look at me as if to say, ah, there you go again, what are you doing here? What are you doing to us? What are you doing to our, our great Louvre? But to respect tradition, you also have to think about the need for change. And Louvre have to change, there's no question about it. But how to make that change? How to make history live? And at the same time, point the way to the future? I don't know. I'm trying. The French weren't that ready for change at that time. It took a while before they calmed down. And I have critics right now already in China, but I know that China is ready for change. I know China better than I knew France and China is entering into the modern world. And uh, they think, rightly or wrongly, that I can make a contribution. So I'm back. Chinese architecture really doesn't have a sense of direction. Since Ming Dynasty, there really hasn't been anything that one can say this is the renaissance of Chinese architecture. None. An interruption of 500 years. That's serious. And that lies the challenge. I'm not so sure I can succeed. But someone has to begin. I take it very seriously. I was born in this country. I was educated in this country. My family was in Suchow 600 years, so I have an attachment to it. So when they came to ask me to design a museum for them in Suchow, I find it difficult to resist. But what a difference between French architecture and the Chinese. Suchow is surrounded by water. Water is everywhere. It's a very poetic place. But most important, I think, when you look at Suchow, you have to think of Suchow as a city that's 2,500 years old. Built of wood and built of tile and brick. So this is a small-scale city. It's a human-scale city. And it's a city for life, for people living there. And as such, I think the museum has to reflect this tradition. At the same time, one has to think about change. Suchow cannot remain like this forever. It has to have a chance to renew itself, to become modern. <laughs>